All right, so I bought this extend a shower, add more shower uh, to your space uh, for the RV. And you can see right here, 33% more uh, shower space than a straight shower rod. And then somewhere around here, well down here it says, fits 35 inches to 42 inches, which is great. So I thought, before I bought it before I measured, and then I found out, I had 32 inches from this space to this space over here. So I have a three inch deficit to make this rod work. Because how this works is one side pushes back, left side first, easier on this one, and then the right. And then the shower curtain's inside for the time that you don't need to shower. So it makes the curtain out of the way. You can also use that to hang stuff on. It's kind of nice that way. So. Then right side out, left side out, and you have the shower curtain out here. So my problem was, is that I had uh, th at least three inches or so off. So what I had to do was I had to cut this thing. Now you might think it's pretty easy, except for the fact that it is stainless steel, this particular one. Uh, some form of stainless steel, thin wall tubing, but nonetheless stainless steel. So when I tried a regular pipe, cutter on it, it spiraled on me and I couldn't get it to work right. So I needed something that would cut it. So smooth and nice and square. So it's going to be hard to show you the other part because it's already done, uh, but I had to order this. This is from Rigid. Get over here to the light so you can see it better. This is from Rigid. It's a, a stainless steel tubing cutter. And all, all this is very nice on roller bearings. It's uh, very precision. And all, all my other efforts that failed were washed away quickly with this really nice tool that just did it in one cut. Then on top here, you really can't see it too well, but I had to countersink in here. And uh, so that was a little bit tricky. I had to punch it in with a punch and then drill it out. But, you know, properly measuring and using... Uh, different tools and measurements if you can and uh, so I used a caliper it was easier that way and so they made it just the right size and now it looks like a factory job so anyways a good deal so it cost me for, for this but I'll use this again and again so now when we shower it gives us both my wife and I are tall if you know who I am you know that I'm tall and my wife's tall and so this gives us more shoulder space and head space in this shower so what a nice deal that is that was a clever idea looks like it's going to work really good and we're excited about it so don't fret if your shower is too small you can if you have a little bit of ingenuity you can make it fit what you want it to fit